This is Mr. Andrew Chan. He's a pursuing actor, but his page and his style doesn't say otherwise. We can fix that. I can fix that. We are gonna get this man to glow up in less than 24 hours. So welcome to my new series called Drum Roll. I don't know yet. So that's why I need you guys' help. Name suggestions, leave them in the comments. So it don't matter if you're a bum or an actor, there is always room for improvement. So we're gonna get this man fly with Johnny Ty. We've come full circle. So fellas, let's meet the man. This video is brought to you by Lupin. Lunar New Year is right around the corner. So pick yourself up the Ascend necklace, the signet ring designed by yours truly. But more about them later. All right, man, introduce yourself. Well, my name's Andrew and uh, I'm originally from Chicago, but currently live here in Las Vegas. Nice, nice. And uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an actor. Actor, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. How'd you get into acting, by the way? Um, it was always something I wanted to do, but uh, you know, typical Asian upbringing, uh, something that my parents didn't really you know, approve of. But until I graduated college, finished my degree, I thought like, you know, if I don't do this now, then I'm gonna regret it. Right, right. So yeah, I've been doing it ever since. Cool, man. What'd you graduate with? Uh, psychology. Psychology. Oh, okay, not bad. Did they force you to do, be a be a doctor or a lawyer or engineer? Uh, engineer. <laughs> My dad really wanted me to be an engineer, hey, but uh, hey, I was an engineer. I was a former mechanical engineer. Oh really? Yeah, I dropped out though. Oh. I would have been, guys. I'm telling you, I would have been the worst engineer known to man. I probably would have broke something. If I designed like a bridge or something or a robot, I probably would have hurt somebody. <laughs> I was not a good engineer, so I'm glad I. I'm glad I dropped out and did made uh, start making homemade YouTube videos. All right, you're <laughs> better at doing this now, right? <laughs> By the way, the world should be grateful that I did not become an engineer. But for some context, because I forgot to ask, Andrew is five foot ten, 170 pounds, decent build. He does work out four to five days a week, which is what I always recommend. That's perfect. Just your standard weightlifting routine, cardio on non leg days. So he doesn't skip legs. I know that, but. Do you even lift if you don't skip legs at least once? <laughs> All right, for real, if y'all are skipping legs, I'm coming after you. In terms of his style, he's very into Korean fashion. He did live in Korea for a year teaching English. Honestly, he has a great starting base. But let's hear about that dating life. Let's hear about your dating life, man. How's it going? Um, non-existent right non now. Non-existent? <laughs> yeah. This guy's an actor and is non-existent. How's it non-existent? I don't know, I guess I haven't really like, uh, yeah, me personally, I haven't really made the effort to be fair. Okay. Uh, a lot of it is just like, you know, I'm focusing on myself, right. my career, other things. So dating has kind of been like, kind of on the, the backseat. Backseat, oh, that makes sense. Have you, have you had any girlfriends before? Um, yeah, like years ago. Years ago. I, I've been single for oh, you've been a minute. Single, you've been yeah. single for a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What's your ultimate goal with um, dating? Yeah, like ultimate goal is just to find someone that I'm compatible with, and wifey, trying to find wifey. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no, that's cool. Overall, how would you rate yourself? What, what would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? I don't even think I'm, I don't. I don't even think I'm a ten. So you can be tell tell an average. You know? A tough question. <laughs> I haven't really thought about that. Uh, I'll say I'm like six or seven. Okay. I would say that I worked on myself enough where like I think I'm above average because definitely you know years ago I was definitely. Way down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, same here, man. Are you a are you a confident dude? Would you say? Yeah, I definitely builds up my confidence. I'll say I'm not confident all the time, but I'm turning like every day with my own abilities and you know just what I've been doing in my life. I would say I've come to a place where I'm happy with myself. Mm -hmm. You haven't been on any dating apps, right? I have not. No. You've never used a dating app. Before. Never used a dating app. Wow. Okay. But before we got to filming. I had him create a dating app. So yeah. this, is, this would be your first dating app, right? Yes, it is. And what are you using? Uh, Hinge. Hinge, okay, cool. You mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's his profile, first picture. It's a pretty decent picture. One of a friend of mine, uh, he had a digital camera. So okay. it turned out pretty well, I think. Is it like a small camera? Or? Yeah, it's pretty small, yeah. Okay, so the picture's a pretty good start. Selfie, red carpet picture, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, and then you got a suit picture. Looks like I was shot on the iPhone. Was that an iPhone shot? Um, I think that's on mine. I have an Android. Or Android. So no joke, fellas, the screen recording actually stopped Android users, man. But overall, his profile is much better than your average guy, especially for a first time user of dating apps. He could have some better outfits. He could have some better photos. Obviously, there is always room for improvement and that's what this series is for. But honestly, I think a good mix of professional photos and iPhone photos is going to be ideal. Now, the prompt on geeking out over superhero things is perfectly fine and true to himself. You got to respect that. But we were both geeking out over the superhero stuff. Did you watch Secret Invasion? I'd see. I 
I didn't watch it because it, it's, it's bad. Is it bad? That's it, what I heard. It, my favorite Spider-Man is actually Tom Holland because he plays Peter Parker and Spider-Man both okay. really well. And it definitely would not get us any cheeks. Maybe as the prompt to can geek out over the movie making process, I think that would benefit him much more than geeking out on whoever has the best Spider-Man suit. Now, I am a Raimi fanboy, but the Tasm 2 suit is the best suit. Y'all can find me in the comments on that. You see, fellas, you want a time when you start geeking out. Just my advice. This still allows you to be true to yourself. You don't got to fake anything. But yeah, let's break down his fits and give him a fresh cut. All right, man, let's break down your outfit. What are you rocking right now? Um, so this crew neck is actually from Korea, a uh, brand called Munisa Standard. Okay. A lot of good basics there. And uh, pants, Lululemon ABC pants. Sneakers, I have on the Nike Vomeros, Aaron's type of shoes, very comfortable. And yeah, I really like them. This is like your casual running errands, everyday type of fit. Yeah, I would say this is like an everyday casual fit. Nice. There are a few things we can work on, but obviously this is just casual errands fit. All right, so we couldn't film at the barbershop, so just enjoy this beautiful landscape with some sound design from my clippers. It's like y'all were there with us at the barbershop. So my man just got a fresh cut. What was your typical haircut that you got before? It's pretty similar to this, actually. Kind of a 70-30 split mm -hmm. with it going more towards the right. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely this, uh, this skin taper is new to me. This time I told him, because he's never done a skin taper before, he would just have a sharp line as a sideburn. It's not a skin fade, which a skin fade would be all the way around your head. A skin taper would just be one little area, mostly the sideburns and the back, but it doesn't go all the way up. So you, you got to keep a lot of darkness around your temple area. It just looks a lot more cleaner and it's gonna make actually your haircut last a lot longer. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few days longer than what you would normally get. I think it looks a lot sharp. How do you feel about it right now? Yeah, it definitely took some getting used to. Like, I don't think I'm used to having it this short, but uh, yeah, it, it's growing on me. It looks nice because they lined you up as well, so it looks clean and yeah, sharp. Yeah, I got that too, yeah. I think it looks dope. Mm -hmm. So he's looking fresh now and we are now gonna upgrade this fit right here and it's gonna look a lot, a lot more nice. Here's the fit right here. How are you feeling about it? I feel cool. The other fit is more of like your errands, running errands type of fit, right? Yeah. This is just as comfortable as that fit, right? Would you agree? You got the wider fits, looser blazer. Yeah, dude, it's super comfortable and uh, it just feels nicer. Like I already feel more confident. Right, right. Yeah. You already feel more put together. Yep. Probably a lot more confident. There's one thing that's missing though, guys. Jewelry. That is why this video is brought to you by Lupin, the sponsor of today's video. Okay, so Lupin is the only jewelry I've been wearing for the past three years, and obviously I'm a little bit biased because I designed a collection with them. But I was wearing them even before I designed a collection, and that was the Ascend Collection. Now, I personally believe that Lupin makes the best minimal jewelry out there, which is why I wanted to create this collection in the first place. Everything at Lupin is handcrafted from a quality grade 925 sterling silver right over in Korea. Just check out how my necklace was made. Beautiful. And we got my man Andrew looking sharp in these pieces and because the lunar new year is right around the corner this is not only going to make your aunties happy it's going to make your fits immaculate take a look at my collection right here with the signet ring and the ascend necklace the character on there means to constantly improve and if you know me in real life that's just my entire mindset check out these stackable rings from the recent coming home collection and this bracelet minimal premium and elegant these pieces will go with any style i can't tell you how many times i've gotten compliments from it and i know you will too because this is probably the only jewelry you'll ever need so go ahead and pick up a piece from Lupin, any piece really. Obviously, you guys know what my preferences are. All you have to do is click that first link down in the description. You can use my discount code FLYWITHJOHNNYTY for a hefty discount. Once again, click that first link down in the description and thank you Lupin for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. So the whole point of upgrading his last fit was to keep it super casual while also being comfy. And I'm telling you, you can change your entire look in just one day. So for the top, we got a Uniqlo U blazer actually. It's a little bit of an oversized blazer, much more chill and casual, not super fitted, which is much more formal. Again, we're trying to keep it casual. We got a tank top underneath, which showcases a little bit more of your collar. Also keeps it casual as well. He's got on wide leg trousers, which he's got, you actually got it from Korea, right? Yep. You guys probably can't get it, but you can get this anywhere, <laughs> probably from like Zara, H&M, wherever you guys want to shop at. And we kept on the same Nike sneakers he had on earlier, which really keeps it casual. Because as you can see, it looks formal with the blazers, the trousers, but obviously it's a lot more oversized. So why not keep that same energy with some casual sneakers? You could rock it with some boots as well, but this is much more comfortable, casual outfits. You can do some shopping. Now, you got to upgrade your pictures. You gotta shoot some fit pics for you, get some better fit pics for the dating apps, and just for your profile in general. It doesn't have to be for a dating app. This might be good for your modeling agency, your acting gig. Just having good photos is always a good thing. So let's go shoot some pics. 
part, y'all. I cannot emphasize how important it is to have some good pictures of yourself, okay? Everybody has a camera nowadays. You can use your iPhone, you can have one of your homies. Having good pictures does a lot for your profile, your LinkedIn profile, dating apps. It doesn't cost too much to do, it doesn't cost too much time, and you can also learn it yourself. And I'm also gonna help you guys by giving you guys some posing tips, okay? So a lot of sitting down ones, I recommend like playing with your, your chin, with like your finger or something like that. Just because most people, when they sit down or when they stand up, they're just like, like this. They're just like standing straight, and it just looks weird, right? <laughs> oh shit, what do you think? Oh shit! Looks good, right? Looks good. You see that right there? That is visible happiness and confidence. See fellas, just, I took four pictures. He already, he's already feeling himself. So when it comes to posing, when you stand, you know, a lot of people, again, are just like this. They're just awkward. They look awkward, right? Yeah. So usually you want to stagger your feet a little bit. Keep one hand in your pocket or your one hand doing something. Usually I keep it on the one I'm leaning on. So if you're going to lean on this side, I usually keep my, yeah, like your right hand. That's pretty good. Another thing someone, people do a lot is they like stand like this. They look like a clown. Like a legit, they look like a clown. Can you play with your, the blazer with just one arm and then like walk towards me slowly? That one's not bad. Oh shit, dude, that was sick. <laughs> Yo. All right, so what I think I'm gonna have you do is probably maybe keep one hand in your pocket, one hand just out, and you're gonna look to your right, and you're gonna walk very slowly towards the camera. Okay. That way it'll be much more dynamic than just standing like this. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be more like, you can overemphasize it. It's gonna look weird. Walk so feel uncomfortable, <laughs> but just walk with a little swag, you yeah, know? I know, you know what I'm saying? Swag, I <laughs> just overemphasize it, and it'll, it'll look good on photo. What do you think? Oh, dude, I like that. Yo, these are, see, you, you have a little swag to your walk. Yeah. Overemphasize it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> that was successful, man. Good shit, dude, good shit, so good much, shit. Man. Yeah, of course, man. Andrew, man, I appreciate you for coming out. I know you're gonna kill it yep. on the apps yep. in your dating life, and uh, good luck, man, you look good. Jake, as you guys can all do this in one day. This blazer's from Uniqlo, the tank top's from Uniqlo, the trousers you can get anywhere. All you need is a fresh cut, some grooming, some nice pictures. You're good to go, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys wanna support the channel, make sure you guys head over to Lupin, pick yourself up some nice jewelry. Appreciate y'all. Stay fly, deuces. So first off, if y'all made it this far, y'all are the real ones and I really appreciate you guys. Obviously there is more we can do, we can get them shredded and all that, but that takes time of course. And second, if you wanna be a part of this series and you guys live in the Las Vegas area or you're willing to travel, there will be a link down in the description where you guys can apply. It's just a simple application and a survey and who knows, we might see you on the next one.